Now page four, the new Green Deal that's wrapped in red. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is set to unveil a very scary attack on our constitutional republic and the American system of free markets. She calls it the new Green Deal. Anyone with a brain calls it a very expensive governmental confiscation of liberty. The plan is to use the cover of saving the planet for a massive scheme to redistribute wealth. Not unlike Obamacare, which shares the same goal, this Marxist socialist plan would cost trillions and trillions of dollars. But the cost to our lives and to our economy would be far greater than that. That is why we say green on the outside, red underneath. These radicals use the ruse of man-made climate change to implement the same policies of the old Soviet Union, a massive top-heavy administrative state that dictates to the people how to eat, how to drink, how to flush, how to drive, how to paint, how to breathe, how to live. That's what Ocasio-Cortez is attempting to foist on the American people. The new Green Deal should be very, very scary to liberty-loving, God-fearing Americans. And right now, she's got the spotlight. Every time Ocasio-Cortez opens her mouth on anything anti-constitutional, the mainstream media are there to give what she says relevance, like the so-called Paycheck Fairness Act. We implicitly recognize as women that the pay gap and the wage gap is an injustice that persists through secrecy. Stop tape. And it's Actually, it doesn't exist at all. It's, it's a big lie. What it is, is folks like this, i.e., the modern Democrat Party, use it as a wedge issue to divide us. Because a people divided is easier to conquer, and that's the ultimate goal. They want to conquer us. They want to conquer our liberty. So they're using the uh, so-called Paycheck Fairness Act uh, as a wedge issue to drive simply between men and women who are gullible enough to think that there actually is a divide between pay among men and women. There is none, but that's not what's important here. What's important here is that they want you to believe that there is a gap between pay between men and women when there isn't. And then, of course, they want government to swoop in and foist the solution on the American people. This is what Barack Obama did so well, and he did it so well with Obamacare. There really was no health care crisis in this republic until Obamacare thrust um, was thrust upon the American people. There was no health care crisis. They came out and they said there's 30 million uninsured Americans. That's an inflated number, but let's stipulate that's true. Out of 300, 310 million Americans, there's 30 million Americans who don't have insurance, many of whom for logical reasons. That's not actually a bad number, but that was the number they used to overhaul and ruin the entire health care system in this republic this is what they want to do on a slightly smaller scale with this nonsense. Roll tape. An injustice that persists to the present day. Stop and tape. The only it doesn't exist. And let me explain. Women are more likely to leave the workforce than men. Women are 27% more likely to leave the workforce than men. Men simply don't leave the workforce like women do. For various reasons and obvious reasons. And so they're using these uneven statistics, as they say, figures lie and liars figure. Well, this is a big fat liar right here. When you compare apples and apples, and that is a woman who has been in the same industry for the same length of time, you compare that apple to the man who's been in the same industry for the same period of time, guess what? Their pay is almost exactly alike. In some cases, the women are earning more. There are laws on the books right now that prohibit employers from paying men more and women less and, and vice versa. There are already laws on the books. But these people want the American public to believe that men are getting preferential treatment in the workforce when they are not. In fact, it's just the, the opposite these days. It's an absolute joke. Roll tape. The way that we can combat that is through organizing in our personal action ourselves. Stop, tape. Yeah, so I can translate Ocasio-Cortez ease there. Organizing in personal action, she means foisting the federal government on the American people. She means the government is the solution to everything.
Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.